Walken singer's Oh Happy Day, Walter found himself at a career crossroads. Where to go from here? I couldn't make myself satisfied with just being a part of the Edwin Hawkins Singers. I branched off and um, we started doing um, some local clubs and just really, really trying to find myself musically. Um, we did, with the, the Hawkins Singers we were doing, of course, mostly Edwin's material and stuff. I got a chance with my, my three sisters and myself to do my own writing uh, and exploring my own ability to uh, create. Um, I had a young lady who worked with me in administration when I first started pastoring, and uh, she she uh, said to me, I, you know, I was trying to think of a, a name for a church, and uh, she says, "What what does your ministry represent to you?" I said, "Well, you know, I'm, I want to have a, a universal kind of inclusionism about what we do." She says, "Well, why don't we call it the Love Center?" You know. So that's a real interesting name, you know? So I like that, you know? So she, of course, uh, was the uh, visionary behind the name for our first album. You know, it's like, well, it's, it's, you know, it's related to the church. It is the church choir. Let's call it Love A Lot, you know? Okay, we'll call it Love A Lot. But when I did that project, I wasn't at all sure that um, it would ever even reach the marketplace. I just decided um, I'm kind of impulsive and I just went to a choir rehearsal one night and, and I said to our little choir at that time, 16 Voices, let's, uh, let's record. I'm like, hey, okay, yeah, let's record, you know? Now, mind you, I didn't have any money and I didn't have a recording deal or anything of that nature, but uh, we took the few little songs that we'd been singing for a little while. I, of course, at the start of the church was the church musician, the janitor and everything. Uh, so, you know, I taught him a few uh, uh, original uh, compositions, and we went with those those songs, went back to my home church where we recorded Oh Happy Day, and uh, we had an audience of maybe three or four hundred people, and we recorded. And then um, it's like, what am I going to do with this this project, you know? Here's this raw, live project. And at that time, uh, live projects weren't all that popular. Um, um, I didn't know how it would, how would, uh, would, would be received. But I made a call to a friend of mine in LA. His name is Andre Crouch. And uh, Andre and I had a mutual friend who uh, was at the recording. And he recorded on this little uh, pocket uh, cassette player and played it for Andre. Andre Crouch was not only a friend of Walter's, but one of the most influential artists in the industry today. From touring with Billy Graham in the late 60s and 70s to writing the soundtrack for the award-winning The Color Purple, his greatest contribution has been the numerous inspirational hits he has given to gospel music. On any given Sunday, in any given church, you are likely to hear a choir singing the songs of Andre Crouch. So Walter sent me, he said, I got a tape. I want you to hear. Soon, yeah, yeah, yeah. 